Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Nazmus Kandiker and let's get started. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at a neat little app that I use and find quite useful. It's a nice it's a Metro Style Calculator app. Um, the Metro Style apps are the new apps in Windows 8, Windows 8 uh, with a new UI and the full screen and animated user interface. Um, but yeah, the Windows 8 does come with a desktop version of Calculator that was there in Windows 7. But um, but if you were looking for a touch-friendly, nice, uh, more feature-rich calculator that that's also free, um, you could you could check this out. This is called Calculator Store Squared, and let me scroll to it. Um, uh, whoa, there it is. Okay, so Calculator Squared, and it's a nice blue tile. And uh, let's take a look. So we launch it and see what we find. Of course, we'll find a calculator, but yeah. Uh, on the left, you see our standard standard calculator with um, uh, lots of buttons. You could touch them or click them, or yeah, you could use your hand, finger, or, or mouse and type it or tap it like a traditional calculator. And on the right, you have some more advanced functions like cosine, hypersine, cosecant. Uh, log, natural log, and stuff like undo and clear. You could also have a history tab where you can find all your computations, all history, and everything you have typed, and you could use that to co copy it back to the input window or find the results. We also have the memory tab uh, where you could store variables or store functions, and you could, um, that's pretty neat, and uh, you find this in standard calculator so that should, should be self-explanatory and here we have constants so you have some um, general constants more or mass uh, you still have uh, more uh, different uh, constants from various branches of physics including electricity chemistry and um, mechanical um, there's some more universal constants constants that should show you stuff like um, Planck's constant I believe let me check uh, uh, no, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, so this is the scientific calculator. And you could just click on these constants and put them on uh, the input window and use your competition. They're very useful. And um, so this is the scientific calculator. We still have other calculators that you can use. Um, there's a basic calculator, of course, but yeah, if we want some simple math, um, basic calculator, I won't go too much detail on that. There's programmer calculator, and uh, if you're a programmer, you might want that. There's also currency converter, and you could look at various countries and convert currency. Um, you could ch yeah, you could uh, use semantic zoom using by pinching out or clicking the minus sign or using uh, control minus and seeing all the alphabetical letters. Or you could add countries to your favorites. So I'm selecting three countries and select add to favorites and this will put those countries in my favorites. You also pin them to the start screen, I believe. Yeah, there's a pin to start. Okay, so let's see, what else do you have? Um, hmm. So we have a unit converter. So that's the last calculator, it's nice purple. And um, yeah, so you could have convert from various uh, units like degrees or um, liter uh, in length or uh, size or volume um, or even uh, stuff like uh, charge or electric current uh, things like that time it could all uh, convert from one uh, unit to another from metric to English system and just a quick uh, that's a quick nice reference um, not bad I could I you could also google it or Bing it if you want uh, and find the uh, thing but that's a nice way to do it offline when you're not connected to the internet pretty useful it also has memory and history so pretty nice okay so let's take a look at some I th let's like a look at some settings charm um, oh by my by the way my sister's here and she's trying to walk away really slowly as to not make herself heard but I, I did I did her the justice of telling right that right now anyway uh, in the settings charm um, you could have uh, settings for various types of calculators so you have a basic calculator that you could uh, modify the settings of we also have a uh, scientific calculator yeah so you could basically go through each of the calculators and um, modify the settings oh by the way you might also notice there's an ad on the top 
um, you could upgrade for 199 I believe um, that will get rid of that so if you find that annoying just uh, upgrade and you could get rid of the ad but the calculator itself is free so you don't have to pay anything to get it but if you want to get rid of the ad you can get rid of it so there's some keyboard shortcuts you could if you want you could view some keyboard shortcuts speaking of keyboard shortcuts I'm gonna show you something very cool oh by the way you could also move the uh, calculator right or left and you could snap the app and uh, work on other apps while you're uh, uh, use the calculator while working on other apps so for example if you're on the desktop you could have the calculator on the right and work on uh, use that as a cal competition tool yeah basically so very useful but there's something really uh, really cool I want to show you um, and that is keyboard functions and it is amazing so let me quickly go back to uh, the calculator uh, okay so you could use the keyboard as you might see as you might guess to type numbers but uh, so I could type 2 plus 2 equals 4 but there's something really cool about it so um, so yeah I'm doing cool numbers but you could what what's cool is you could actually type in functions just like start search as you type in uh, the calculator will filter out various functions so I, I typed in square root and it or I typed in square and hit enter and put square root in there I could type in sine I could type in cosine tangent hypersine I could type in all these functions very cool and as I type the list is filtered and I could use my arrow keys to um, navigate it is so convenient I just love it so if, if we're typing away you don't have to move your hand from the keyboard and use the mouse and click some other function just type the name it's very convenient so yeah that's one of the very hidden features or in this calculator that really makes it stand out from all others and it's pretty nice so yeah guys so what do you think what do you think of this calculator I hope I uh, did uh, get you uh, get to show you uh, some of the cool things this calculator does especially the keyboard typing uh, you could, yeah of course you would change the degrees to radians as I showed right now but anyway uh, this is, has been a quick overlook uh, maybe it's a little more than quick but um, thanks for watching